Hello! Welcome back everyone to Virtual Storytime. I'm here at the library and I am ready to talk about colors. Are you ready to talk about colors? So if you remember, we've talked about the color red and we've talked about the color orange and we talked about the color yellow and last week we talked about the color green. Any guesses what color we might talk about today, this week? Hmm, did anyone guess blue? This week we are going to talk all about the color blue. I really love the color blue. Is blue anyone's favorite color? Okay, well let's get started thinking of some things that are blue. So the first thing that I'm thinking about that's blue is a fruit, it's a berry, it's very, very tiny and round, very, very delicious, and it's blue. Does anyone know what it might be? Did anyone guess? A blueberry! A blueberry is blue. Does anyone here like blueberries? I love blueberries. I love to eat blueberries for breakfast. These were my breakfasts this morning. Mm, those look like great blueberries. Okay, the next thing I'm thinking about that's blue is a creature that lives in the ocean. And it's a very big fish and it's blue and it swims really, really fast and it has lots and lots of teeth and it's a really good swimmer and loves to eat fish. Hmm, what might it be? Did anyone guess? A shark! A shark is blue. I had to borrow this shark because I wasn't allowed to bring a real shark into the library. So this is just my pretend shark. Careful, might bite you. Oh, that was a fun shark. I hope I didn't scare anyone with my shark. So the next thing I'm thinking of that's blue is outside and it's really 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 big and you can see it when you go outside and you look all the way up and it's blue does anyone know what i might be talking about <gasps> did you guess the sky the sky is blue so if you went outside today and looked all the way up you would see a beautiful blue sky I took this picture outside in my backyard of the beautiful blue sky one day. That was a really pretty blue sky. Okay, our next thing that I'm thinking of that's blue is a football team in Winnipeg. Uh, they won the Grey Cup in 2019, and I'm really hoping they win the Grey Cup again in 2021. Does anybody know what I might be talking about? They play this Saturday against the Calgary Stampeders. <gasps> Did anyone guess? The Winnipeg Blue Bombers. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers are blue. Uh, isn't that fun? Okay, our next word, next thing that I'm thinking of that's blue is a character on a TV show and he's really big and really fluffy and really fuzzy and he is very blue, but he just absolutely loves, loves cookies. He just, he loves cookies. Hmm, does anybody know who that might be? <gasps> Did 
Did you guess Cookie Monster? That's right. Cookie Monster is blue. He's big, he's blue, he's fuzzy, and he just loves cookies. Now this book is called Calm Monster, Kind Monster, and it's available here at the library. If you ever want to read it, it's a really great book. I recommend it. Cookie Monster also recommends this book. He loves it. Okay, so the last thing I'm thinking about that's blue is very wet and it falls down from the sky, from the clouds, when it's warm out. Hmm. Anybody know what that might be? Did anybody guess? Raindrops? Ah, that's right, raindrops are blue. And when it's raining, you need an umbrella. Good thing I brought my umbrella today. Okay, so now that we've talked about lots of different things that are blue, I think it's time to read a story. So could everybody get out their magic fingers for me, please? Thank you. Okay, so let's get them nice and high up in the air and start wiggling them really, really fast. And on the count of three, you're gonna send all your magic to me. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, poof! Let's see what we have today in the magic book bag. We have a book called Hello Rain. Hello Rain by Kyle McClear and Chris Turnham. The air is full of waiting. The sky is full of breeze. The trees gust and billow all before it rains. Rumble, rumble, distant thunder. Rain is coming. Rain is coming. Plink, plunk, plonk on the rooftop. Drip, drop, metal, mailbox, ping. Every rainfall plays a different tune. Listen, listen. Rain, rain, rain. Old raincoat, rubber boots, big umbrella, best umbrella, green, orange, yellow, blue. Let's go outside. On the streets, umbrellas bloom. Around us, a game of hurry. Dash, start, skitter, scatter. But why hurry when the sky is an adventure? Deluge, downpour, sprinkle, storm. A drizzle, a mizzle. So many words for rain. Long, thin threads, tiny parachutes, buckets at a time. Out of many drops, one big puddle. Splash. Curbside waterfall, downhill swoosh, out of many drops, one rushing river, let's launch the fleet. Drippy leaf, slippy rock, here's an earthworm, a sticky snail, here is a seedling. Even when it pours, the frogs don't hurry or hide. Hyacinth Foxglove, poppy, yarrow, down in the dirt, the thirsty roots are drinking. Cool rain, fresh rain, a barrel to catch the drops for later, so we can have pink roses, frilly peonies, tangles of vine, bursting pea pods, bright carrots, leafy radishes, plums in the fridge, sweet and cold, one for you, one for me. In a quiet spot, a single drop of rain touches five times. A branch, a leaf, an apple, a rock, a blade of grass. Before reaching the ground, we crouch under a tree and whisper talk until... Crack! Flash! Inside, wet socks, drippy pants, shake, shake, shake of rain-drenched fur. Inside, dry and warm. Rain trickle flows against the window. Many rivers, droplets joining, moving down, down, side to side. Want to play a board game? Want to read a book? Want to build a fort? Naps and secrets are both better when it rains. I wonder how the rain decides how and when to be. I wonder how it decides when to plunk, plunk, plink, stop.
The ground is glistening green. Can you smell the grassy sweetness? Butterflies and bugs sip, sip, sip from muddy puddles. Can you hear the chirping birds? Hello, sparrows, with your bright sparrow voices. Hello, goldfinches, with your sweet, sweet song. Hello, flowers, ripe and rosy. Hello, mushrooms, plump and proud. Hello, sun. What a great book. I really liked that one. I think my favorite part was the last page here when they say, hello, sun. And there's a rainbow of all the colors, just like our rainbow we've been talking about. What a great book. What was your favorite part? That's wonderful. So now it's time to do our craft. So this week, our craft kits are available here at the Stonewall Library. You can come and pick them up whenever you would like. And this week I did something a little fun and a little different. It's a raindrop, but it has a string attached to it. And the string is to go in these holes. And then you're going to lace it through and do that for the whole raindrop. Won't that be fun? I also included some stickers, some heart stickers, because I love rain. Let's get started on our craft. How does everyone do with their craft? I would love to see a picture of your raindrop when you're done making it so you can ask your grown up to take a picture and you can send it to us here at the library. I would love to see what you guys are doing at home. So now it's come to the time where we do a little bit of singing. So I have a fun song about rain. Would you like to sing it with me? This is how it goes. You're gonna put your hand to your ears so that you can hear. I hear thunder, I hear thunder. How about you? How about you? Pitter patter rain drops, pitter patter rain drops. I'm soaked through and through. So are you. That was a cute song. Should we do that one more time? Okay, get out your hands. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. How about you? How about you? Pitter patter rain drops. Pitter patter rain drops. I'm soaked through and through. So are you. What a great song. And we can't forget to sing our rainbow song. We always sing our rainbow song. So let's get our rainbow arms ready to sing the rainbow song. So we sing rainbow purple, rainbow blue, rainbow green, and yellow too. Rainbow orange, rainbow red, Rainbow colors on my head. Colors, colors everywhere. I like rainbows in my hair. Well, me and my big blue shark here want to thank you guys so much for watching this week's story time. And I really hope you enjoyed it and that you learned a little something about the color blue. So I can't wait until we see each other next week. So my shark wanted to wave. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for watching.